Other news tonight, a disturbing case that has a lot of people talking. Dismembered body parts have been found in four different locations in Minneapolis over the last three weeks. No one has been arrested and many are wondering who would commit such a crime. Lou Raguse spoke with a forensic psychologist today as we try and learn more. Lou. Well, Randy, first of all, cases like this are extremely rare nationwide. Dr. Michael Thompson says that there are a few different reasons a killer would dismember a body. And in this case, he says the signs are pointing at aggression. When someone out for early morning exercise found a human head posed on a Minneapolis park bench, an already disturbing case took an even darker turn. Yeah, it's very mocking. Forensic psychologist Dr. Michael Thompson evaluates accused criminals in his practice. Based on the details we know so far in the death of 36-year-old Adam Richard Johnson, Thompson believes the killer most likely was someone who knew Johnson and killed him with rage. Extreme rage, a great deal of emotion that both went into the killing, uh, but then killing wasn't enough. The victim's body parts were found scattered in four public locations, which Thompson believes is a sign the killer wanted to dehumanize and mock Johnson, even in death. Thompson says we shouldn't assume the killer is psychotic. Not necessarily. The fact that the body parts were found in uh, several different places, and at least we can infer that the head was posed, would lead me to believe that this is actually somebody who is somewhat uh, organized, uh, that is not suffering from a, an acute uh, psychotic uh, disturbance, but rather somebody who has the ability to at least reason out uh, what they're doing. In many dismemberment cases, the act is done to help hide the body and conceal the crime. Clearly, that is not what happened in Minneapolis. And Thompson says the fact body parts were scattered gives Minneapolis police more opportunities to solve the crime. Dr. Thompson says cases involving organized crime often involve posing a body to send a message, but there's absolutely nothing in Johnson's history to suggest any connection to organized crime.